Tri Tides, it's Zoe. I'm here at the 2016 graduation with all my fellow graduates. This newscast is very exciting for me because it's my last one anchoring for Beach High News. So today we're going to start off with a very talented High Tide. He's such a natural. My name is Gustavo Diaz. I'm a pianist. I learned how to play piano mostly by ear, but when it's necessary, I refer to the sheet music. When I was 12 years old, I started playing. It was when my mother surprised me with the keyboard. How many hours do you practice a day? Uh, it depends. Uh, sometimes I have too much homework, but I do about like four or five hours a day. What music do you look up to? I look up to Johann Sebastian Bach, Ludwig van Beethoven, and my favorite of them all is Frederick Chopin. Piece seems very really difficult. Did you receive any lessons prior? I learned the entire piece by myself, but Miss Gent, the keyboard instructor, she helped me with the fingering, the hand positioning, as well as the rhythm. How long did it take for you to execute this specific piece? The Chopin's Etude, Opus 10, Number 12, The Revolutionary. It took me about three months to learn, but mastering the Etude will take longer. Are you left-handed? I'm right-handed, but the piece I played was made to practice the left hand, so that's why I was going crazy with that hand. What more is there to say? We're now going to hear from a fellow High Tide that has been teaching here for many years. She plans on ending her career here at Beach High as well. Hello, my name is Gail Slatko. Um, how long have you been working as a teacher? Uh, this is my 37th year with Miami-Dade County Public Schools and I've spent the last nine of those years here at Beach High. What inspired you, inspired you to work as a teacher? I have always wanted to be a teacher. As a young child, I actually played school all the time. I would pull all the kids in the neighborhood over and I had a little picnic table on my screen porch and I used to make up lessons and I had a grade book. So I've been doing this yeah. <laughs> since I was ki a kid and I never thought of doing anything else as a career. Um, have you done any other jobs besides teaching? Um, I had one very short-lived job uh, working in a graduate studies office when I was in college, but I worked with kids when I was in high school. I babysat. My first job was teaching. I do sell some jewelry on the side because I like to have something to do that's a little different. And uh, But other than that, no, always, always in the field of education. Um, what is the most memorable event that's happened as a teacher? Well, I can think of so many students who've passed through my classroom and I've met with them later on in life and, and that's very heartwarming to see that they've made some success from themselves because always teaching, reading, I work with students who struggle with school and so when they come back and tell me that they remember me and they've gone on and graduated high school and college, that feels wonderful. But one really exciting event was uh, in the year I think it was 2000. I was working at the district office as a curriculum specialist, and one of my colleagues and I applied to present a lesson in Auckland, New Zealand. So as part of the International Reading Association, we went to uh, Auckland on our own dime, but it was still an amazing opportunity, and presented to a whole international crowd of teachers. So that was a really highlight 
of my career to be able to do that. And what is the best part of working as a teacher? The best part, I think, is is knowing that you make a difference. I know it sounds like a very trite yeah. statement, but my job over the years has been more time working with other teachers than with students. I haven't been in the classroom that much in the last, boy, o over 25 years because I worked as a curriculum support specialist and a reading coach. So what I've been able to do is help teachers develop their craft so that they do a better job. So I was once told by my boss when I worked downtown is that we were like grandparents. The teachers are like parents and that those of us who work with teachers are like grandparents and that we're passing our knowledge down. So I just like the idea that I've been able to impact a lot of students and teachers and then students because of the teachers who have hopefully become better with their craft. Um, anything else you want to say to new students and teachers? Well, I have, you know, I started out in middle school and, and I graduated to high school for my last nine years working in high school and I love being in the high school setting. This is an amazing school and I look at the talent in this building, kids who are singing and dancing and acting and doing athletics and writing and winning scholarships and it just makes me very proud to be part of the Beach High family. Thank you. We wish you well, and we're going to miss you, Miss Latko. Now, we all have very fond memories here at Beach High, so let's take a moment to look at some. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. What class is this? This is for U.S. History. Luca, you do it. Say it one more time. Who are you? I'm John D. Rockefeller. So who are you? I'm Betsy Ross. Kind of. Who's Betsy Ross? Uh, she's the lady that um, that made the first American flag. I made one myself. Oh really? Yeah. Oh God, his ass is like right there. <laughs> I really want to make sure that I bring those of you who were next from Mali actually look really awesome. Really awesome. If you don't think that you do, please don't come up. So, let me see. Um, African poverty during the Great Depression. And I'm a photographer who did the farm security acts in the Great Depression. We have part, part, who are you? I'm Dr. John. I'm Dr. Salk. I cured a lot of people. Nobody seems to care, but you know. That's what it is. Who are you? Nixon, and you're? And you're? Who are you? Frank Oppenheimer. What is it? I'm a Ryan Smith. And you? James Merson likes to play. My name is Jackie Robinson. First African American to play in the major leagues. Yeah, they were out of order, so I I'm Dr. Rio. I was born in 1788 in Iowa, and I died in 1812. I was 13 years old. I'm one of two wives, and I had two kids. I'm the one who participated in the Lewis and Clark expedition for the Louisiana Bridges. She's hungry, man. Yeah. Can <laughs> I take a picture with the beer? Bruh. The first one with the beer. It's my wig. What you mean? Hi Tides, I hope you have an amazing summer and don't forget to tune in to Beach Film News when we return.